Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you my thoughts on the British royal family, and today I'll be talking about the reasons why there are still questions regarding the Sussexes' alleged family life. An article in the Express newspaper has triggered a lot from those readers that doubt the existence of Sussex children. The article says, and I quote, Inside Prince Archie's play date with Prince George, Prince Louis and Princess Charlotte. This at best was a gross exaggeration because at this event there was zero interaction between the alleged baby as he was then, named Archie, and Prince Louis and also Prince George and Princess Charlotte. This was at the polo match when Meghan appeared in a khaki green tent dress and the whole thing caused a lot of controversy as to whether she was holding a doll which many believed she was, or an actual baby. There were many reasons for this, and it's been covered in various YouTube videos over the years by various YouTube creators, including myself. Why this is being brought up again now is anyone's guess. It talks about photos from the day, and I quote, and it shows sweet moments with the cousins with Prince Louis being his usual cheeky self as he ran towards Meghan holding baby Archie. And it also mentions how Prince Louis stuck his tongue out and waved at the Duchess. Yes, that was about the only interaction, if you could call it interaction, as it was totally one-sided and there was zero interaction from Catherine, who always makes a fuss of babies, and many other reasons why viewers then started to doubt that Meghan was carrying an actual baby. So this has been dragged up again for whatever reason, and has led me to compile a list of the reasons why many doubt the existence of Harry and Meghan's children. This is not an exhaustive list, it's just 18 reasons, and I'm sure there's a lot more. If you have any to add, just comment below. Number one. They've never been seen live with Harry and Meghan. Number two, the royal family have never talked about seeing them nor released official photos of themselves with them. Number three, Harry and Meghan have never really talked about them like you would if you had young children, but they will talk about them in a way that sounds fake when they want to try and prove a point especially Meghan, as she has said things that are totally fake regarding what her son was doing at a certain age, to the point where it was obvious that she had no child. Either that, or she had an off-the-chart genius. Meghan also seems to look downwards when talking about the children and does not give eye contact with the interviewer. Number four, staff at the Montecito mansion remarked that they never saw any children. Number five, the trash cans were checked by paparazzi who declared that there were definitely no young children living in that place. Number six, Meghan's own family have implied that there are no children, especially her brother, and have even said that she had me. Number seven, all photos and videos of them are either poor quality, showing their backs, or showing obviously different children every time. Number eight, it was discovered that the daughter of a friend of Meghan's, Stassi Schroeder, was used in one photo. Number nine, Meghan's niece was pictured in one video with what was believed to be her son appearing as Archie. Number ten, discrepancies around the birth certificate suggesting no children. Number eleven, a very obvious doll being held at Harry's polo match was awkwardly held in the same position for hours. No change in the expression or position, and it caused visible concern with two friends of Harry's.
Tellingly, Catherine, who loves babies, did not interact with it even once. Number 12. Meghan travelled to unsafe countries and did various inadvisable things when allegedly pregnant. For example, using relaxing hair products, insisting on climbing the Sydney Bridge, drinking alcohol, eating unsafe food, and was said to be smelling of cigarettes, and could not give consistent nor accurate answers when asked about her alleged pregnancy. Number 13. Contrary to what Meghan put out, no one visited or saw Archie at Frogmore Cottage, and the Queen did not visit them there. Number 14. If they had children, Meghan would be making money out of them by merching their clothing. Number 15. Never been seen at any nursery or school in the area where they lived in the UK or in Montecito. And there were doubts about the authenticity of Archie's birth certificate when he was supposed to be starting school at Montecito. Number 16. More recently, Zara Tyndall has said that no one in the royal family has even seen the children. Number 17. No one in or outside their circle has ever seen any children no photo taken, not a glimpse, nothing. It's all been talk. Fake stories from Ellen and Hillary Clinton. Ellen's description of a lot of red hair was opposite of what we saw of the child meeting Desmond Tutu. Number 18. More recently, Harry himself has described his day as though he has no children. He says that after he's taken the dog for a walk and maybe gone for a drive, he has nothing to do other than support Megan. If they had two children with them, you could guarantee he would be doing a lot more than going for a drive and taking the dog for a walk. They are not parents, people are saying. They are two actors in a very bad play. So if you have any more reasons why you doubt this, put them in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.